Good morning. This is our Saturday morning on the trail. I believe it's like November 3rd, maybe the 4th, but it's a Saturday morning. And here they come, coming down the bridge through our wetlands. Hauling out the mulch from all the trees they destroyed. And this is all right next door to a uh, 55 plus community. Many of the seniors in there deal with COPD and other breathing issues. <laughs> and the dust from it all is just unbelievable. And I believe every construction site, there's rules about the dust control. But they travel this, it takes them about 20 minutes to round trip it, so that would work out to, you know, on a 12 hour day, to about 36 trips or so, and there's two of them running. The other one would be here in a few more minutes. But luckily for us today, the dust bloom is going away from us. And let me pause this and wait for the next guy. This was once a really nice little fishing hole and a pretty pristine ecosystem. Um, but as you can see today, it's all been kind of squashed down and uh, it's not such pretty water anymore. It's covered in dust and particulate matter. And God only knows what's in all of it as particulates. And you can see there's tracks. Those, I believe, are cow tracks where they come down and drink from this water lord only knows what they're drinking and then when you look over let me see if i can zoom in on that spot over there there's three there's three stakes over there just beyond the silk fencing and they're in a square that would be the end of their work zone and then if you go down to the end of the trees that they removed, it looks like they went well beyond their work zone. Because they're only supposed to be clearing 50 feet. And that's probably closer to 75 or so. And I'm guessing, but I'm a utility contractor. They got paid by the foot to put things in. So I've got a pretty good idea or guesstimation of how far it is. I, I guarantee it's over 50 feet. And I don't see any more work zone stakes up there. And you can see the wetland sign has been trampled over. You know, they would probably try to blame it on people going out there, but none of these people are going out there. You know, they're all 55. Most of them are in their 80s. You know, this is the mobile home park that I live directly behind. But they have just destroyed this ecosystem with these planks, the stirring up of the settlement on the bottom. You know, I don't know if y'all will be able to see the, the dust that's on the water. But it's not just dust. I understand why they call it particulate matter. Because God only knows what's in it. And what it's going to do to the ecosystem that once existed here. And it looks like right over there. I'm sorry, I'm struggling with the sun. But, uh. Right over there, it looks like they went beyond their work zone there because just maybe four or five feet, maybe 10 feet. I mean, there's a, a little white stake right over there. You can see it just barely above the top of the planks. That's the end of their work zone. From here, it looks like about a foot, but it's probably more like 10 foot. But that would put that area over there out of their work zone. And it sure does look like tracking. Looks like two sets of tracks over there. Um, I can't really see well, but you can hear the next guy coming. But these guys, once they got off of 1792, they do whatever they want. 
they did put up some silk fencing back here on the edges but I would think when you go through this water there's supposed to be another uh, pollution control device along the edge of these planks but there's none and I'm only saying that because out front they went through a water body and they had to put this black stuff along the edge of the planks but here he comes a six-wheel drive dump truck probably hauling I don't know somewhere around 10 or 15 cubic yards of what used to be trees and I have a feeling that's more I, I don't know they cut down so many trees and we have yet to find a permit anywhere on site you know But as the dust flies along the trail, and here they're crossing each other, they're passing each other. I'm trying to stay out of their view. I mean, I'm on my property, but. I'm in a bright green shirt. I'm gonna shut this down and try to walk down and see where this mulch is being piled up. Well, happy Saturday to all y'all. Hope you don't live along the trail. <laughs> Have a great day.